Detailing the main characters is a significant task for any writer aiming to create a fascinating story. While most well-recognized literary characters are protagonists, the antagonists may also become the audience's favorite heroes due to their interesting personalities or relatable motives. In this regard, unlikable characters can also make for a good story, nevertheless, it is not only their unpleasantness that enhances the writing but also the protagonist's behavior and the shift in perspective. The confrontation between good and evil often becomes the primary subject of literary works due to the reader's interest in the event's outcomes. Although the heroes are typically the most liked characters, the antagonist's presence is necessary to ensure that the story is captivating. For instance, an excellent example of an opposing character that improves the storyline can be found in Miss Adele Among the Corsets, a short story written by Zadie Smith. The protagonist of the story, a transgender woman Miss Adele, finds herself in a situation where she is blatantly disrespected as a customer and as a person by the owner of the shop. Mr. Alexander, the man in charge of the store selling corsets, appears to be the story's main antagonist, demonstrating contempt and disregard towards Miss Adele and her interest in purchasing the merchandise. At the very beginning of the story, as Miss Adele enters the corset shop, it becomes evident that her presence is ignored by the owner. While Mrs. Alexander carefully attends to Miss Adele's needs and treats her with respect, Mr. Alexander demonstrates a negative attitude toward the customer. After Mrs. Alexander has chosen the corsets for Miss Adele, it becomes evident that the husband is displeased with the presence of a transgender person in his store. The argument between the husband and the wife follows, appalled, fascinated, she watched the husband, making the eternal, noxious point in a tone Miss Adele could conjure in her sleep. Combined with the loud sounds of the radio, this quarrel leaves a considerable impression on the reader, demonstrating Mr. Alexander's negative qualities. Miss Adele became a fascinating protagonist for me, especially due to her insistence on protecting herself from the owner's attitude and obtaining the corsets regardless of the circumstances. Although Mr. Alexander was showing contempt towards Miss Adele and decided not to sell the merchandise to her, the protagonist persisted in explaining her stance and paying for the corsets. As such, Miss Adele's decisiveness and behavior can also be considered the elements of the story that make it so captivating to read. While Mr. Alexander's disregard is crucial to the conflict of the work, additional details apart from the antagonist being unlikable are needed to create the necessary atmosphere and bring life to the plot. Another prime example can be seen in the short story Hateship, Friendship, Courtship, Loveship, and Marriage by Alice Munro. The work encompasses the events surrounding Johanna, a housekeeper, who was tricked into believing that she might be marrying Ken Boudreau, as well as stealing furniture from Mr. Macaulay. The antagonists behind these outcomes are Subita and Edith, who decided to act on Johanna's feelings for Ken to amuse themselves. After discovering that Johanna had sent an affectionate letter to Ken, the girls begin to mock the woman, laughing at her position and appearance. Taking Ken's perspective, Subita jokes that I, Ken, am sorry I cannot be in love with you because you have got those ugly spots all over your face. The girls are toying with Johanna for their amusement, disregarding the consequences of such behavior. While the antagonists are indeed unlikable, several other elements in the story are necessary for creating a fascinating storyline. As such, of particular importance is the shifting perspective, as each part of the work is written from the standpoint of a specific character. For instance, at the end of the story, as Johanna marries Ken and becomes pregnant with his child, the reader learns that Edith is displeased with the outcome. The girl thinks this result is insulting, like some sort of joke or inept warning, trying to get its hooks into her. Although this message serves as another example of Edith's cruelty, the perspective shift is also necessary to gain insight into the antagonist's thoughts regarding her behavior. In this story, the protagonist that I was fascinated with the most was Johanna, who risked her position with Mr. Macaulay and decided to travel a long distance to unite with her potential partner. Even though the woman had a strong impression that Ken would be happy to see her, she moved to a distant country before receiving a positive response. 
In this regard, while I admired Johanna's decisiveness, I was also concerned that a good ending would follow. To conclude, as evident from Miss Adele among the corsets and hateship, friendship, courtship, loveship, and marriage, the antagonist's characteristics also play an essential role in creating an impactful novel. Unlikable characters are critical for developing the storyline and are needed to create a conflict to be resolved or addressed throughout the work. Nevertheless, the unfavorable aspects of a character are not the only factors to be included, the supporting elements, such as the hero's behavior and shift of perspective, are also required to create a fascinating story. StudyCorgi.com has everything you need for successful studies. Writing tools, informative articles, and essay samples. Come check it out!